but it, it was an accident. What happened? What, what part? was the accident? <laughs> what was the accident? Whoopsie. Well, you're calling me because I ghosted him. How many love stories ended with the pandemic? Or at least potential love stories, do you think? Ooh, that's <sighs> a good question. I'd say quite a few, yeah. I bet. Because, you know, people are trying to be responsible and yeah. then they went into hiding and that sort of thing. And I think that's why we have heard from Trevor, who we have on mm-hmm. the show right now. Trevor, tell us about this this story with Damien because it's very sweet. So me and Damien, we worked together at H&M around Christmas. And he was like a temporary hire. And by like the second week working together, we were like a little flirty. And like, like I don't know, it was just like chemistry or whatever. Workplace Man. crushes are so much fun. Oh, too. they're hot. Yeah. You just hopped all over. You yeah. Got, is this the way you tell me you got a crush on me? Uh, I need to tell you. <laughs> mm. Anyways. Anyways. Anyway, continue. Sorry. No, it's all good. Yeah, so it was, it was pretty hot. And we started, te- we started like texting. I started learning about his life. He told me about like growing up on the farm in like Georgina. And so eventually like we ended up hooking up frequently in Love January. Love it. Frequently. Oh, it all the time in January. Now, does H&M yeah, know you were hooking up? Um, Probably not, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> don't even worry about that. Like, just take our that. $7 t-shirts yeah. and you'll be fine. It's not a career Which, type by job. the way, yeah. I'm wearing. Yeah. Uh, okay, so so you were hooking up regularly. It's kind of like, I. Yeah, that's the, you're right, TJ. It's, a lot of the times it can get you into trouble, but man, workplace hookups are fun. Oh, they're the best. And you can sort of tease each other as the workday happens and yeah. you meet up after, or maybe you don't even meet up after. Maybe you just meet up during. Yeah. And I'm not going to inquire, <laughs> but what I do want to know is where did it end? Why did it end? What happened? So it kind of like fizzled out like in, Jan- in January. It, was, it started like fizzling out like mid-February, I'd say. Mm-hmm. Uh, we both just got really busy, like with work and school and everything. And um, I think he might have started seeing somebody. Mm. Like that's what I think mm. really happened. Like mm-hmm. maybe, yeah. maybe he started seeing someone like seriously. Yeah. Okay. So like fast forward to like last week, and out of the blue, I get a text from him saying, "I've been thinking about you a lot, and we should meet up for a date." Mm. Oh, cute. And you responded yeah. with. Yeah, I got like super excited. Like I responded like instantly. Yeah. Which I made the waiters and played it cool, but nah, what don't even bother. He's already hooked yeah. up. Yeah, I responded instantly. I'm like, where and when do you want to have this date? Mm-hmm. And then he never responded back. Like completely ghosted me. Trifling. Trifling. Okay. Wondering like why did why did he text me out of the blue to ask me on this date and tell me he was like thinking about me. Okay, forgive me for being the dad in this one, but if he doesn't respond to that, are you sure you want to do yeah. a second date with him? He sounds like a monster. So. <laughs> well, I just, yeah. you know what I mean? A monster. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I mainly, I guess, I guess I just want clothes. Like, I want to know like what. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Happened. Like, why did he text me and then decide that he didn't want to hang out? I don't trifling? know. It's weird. To me. Trifling, trifling. It is weird. Well, luckily, you got Scooby and the gang, and we're on it. Yeah, we're going to be on this case. Don't so, ever refer basically, to what, what Scooby and the gang do, ever again. What we're going to do that. is we're going to call him, <laughs> and we're going to have you on the phone, and we're going to ask him what happened. But before we do, let me just give you the out. Sometimes the answers that are given on Ghosted, when somebody doesn't know you're listening, yeah. can be very real and very harsh. Are you sure you want to hear these things? Yeah, I mean, I'd rather, I'd rather know than always wonder or whatever so yeah this guy also seems like i said a monster so he could say something <laughs> terrible <laughs> he may not though Come i'll on. take i'll take good care of you we've had some so, we've okay? had some good ghosts so uh all right let's give damien a call uh is this damien uh yes this is damien what can i do for you damien adam wild tj and jacks from 99.9 virgin radio good morning how's it going hey man <laughs> i'm good how are you we're fine how are you I, I'm good, thank you. Sorry. Good, you? <laughs> was good. that necessary? No. Yeah. <laughs> we just called the man out of the blue and you're just attacking him with, I'm we're being fine. Petty. I'm being petty. Yeah, well, maybe maybe not yet. Um, listen, man, uh, we're, we're, we're asking you, we, we, we gotta ask you a question about Trevor. You know Trevor? Uh, yeah. Um, you ghosted Trevor? Trevor. Yeah. You, you ghosted him? Um, yes, uh, I, okay, that's, Yes, I did. Um, oh gosh. Okay. Um, uh, I I didn't mean to get his hopes up in any way, and I'm sorry. You texted him and said that you missed him. Um, yeah, that was, but it, it was an accident. What happened? 
What, what part? was the accident? <laughs> what was the accident? Whoopsie. Well, you're calling me because I ghosted him, but I I never meant to text him in the first place. Uh, I was trying to text someone else, and the Trevor you're referring to isn't saved under anything in my phone, and I mistakenly sent him a text, and as soon as I realized kind of what was going on, and I sent it to the wrong guy, I felt mortified. Yeah. I saw it was delivered, and I'm sorry for doing that to him, but... I, I didn't know what to do. I couldn't send him a text. Hey, so I'm when, trying to hook up with a, with a different guy. When he responded right away, you were like, uh, "Yeah, uh. <laughs> oh. I, I was mortified. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't yeah. know what to do. I felt bad. I didn't want to hurt his feelings further. Um, so I just kind of silently tried to disappear. And he sent me a few more texts. And yeah, I, so, it made me feel I didn't know what to do. So you could have. After he kept sending texts, you could have told him what happened. I feel like that's mm, yeah. like less mean than just double ghosting him. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're probably yeah. You're right. I just um I I felt really bad um in the moment. Yeah. And, and I, listen, we're not calling to be the moral police. No, no, like no, it's no. it's sort of like that you know we're, we're not here like, for the lecture, be, Jax. But would, I'm um, sorry. You I, know, I, listen. You know I'm soft. Here's, here's you know I'm, I'm soft. Here's I'm what sorry. I want to say. Here's what I want to say. Listen, listen. We got the opportunity here. Where we could hook you guys up with a second date, maybe give this well, second date. I mean, you guys have hooked up before. We know that. Uh, you guys could restart this thing, maybe yeah. give it a shot. Free, free meal. Save each other's numbers. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to pass. Uh, that's very nice mm-hmm. of you guys, but um, I'm good. Okay. How's it going with the other guy? <laughs> TJ. <laughs> TJ. <laughs> No, but for real, you okay, good. we're gonna no, we're gonna leave. J- Damon, you've been you've been kind enough uh, yeah, to take sound, our call you today. Do, you sound super sweet. Yeah, yeah and listen, go. we we wish you all the best, including with the new guy, and uh, all the health for the rest of the year, because God knows we could need it or we could use it. Thank you very much, and right back to you guys. All right, have a great day. Thanks, Damien. How you doing, buddy? I mean, I've been through worse. I guess I guess this wasn't meant to be. Mm. You know what, man. We're on your side. Well, yeah. You, Hard yeah. not to be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know what, what TJ? Thanks, yeah. TJ. I'm yeah. sure I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> TJ, you say. tell him. You Listen, tell him. I got, I've got this thing, and I'm newly single as well, so I, I can... I mean, you're not newly single, but I'm newly single, and I think, you know, you do go through, you date people, you wonder why they drop you like that. What you, The attitude you need to have is if they don't want you, you shouldn't want them either. Yeah. Right? That's right. There's If, if you are worth wanting, so somebody... Somebody is going to want you something fierce, and that's going to be the person that you should pursue it with. And Adam wants to take you on a date. No. <laughs> is what's happening here. I wish I'd love that. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't, I, I don't go that way. But you sound like Yet. a very sweet guy, and uh, you know, I know that we're going to get a bunch of requests yeah. for your phone number after this. So, yeah, and H and M is always hiring. So yeah. you never know. <laughs> and next summer, when everything opens there? up, we're going <laughs> dancing. Okay. Well, well, thanks for the help, guys. I appreciate it. All right, love Trevor, you. we love you, buddy.